Whether you're a mom of toddler, teens, or somewhere in between, every season with our kids has its own kind of busyness. Then, if you run the gambit of age ranges, like we do here, you are always busy. Let's add to the fact that you are a working mom, working from home with kids. So let's just say we are super busy. So I wanted to do something a little bit different with this show. And I wanted to hear from other moms when it comes to their time management hacks. Yes, you are busy mom and you know how to manage your time. So that's not what this is for. It's not telling you how to do it because you already know how to manage your time and to at least survive your day. But sometimes it's helpful to hear other moms' aha moments or where have you been on my life moments. So I asked a number of moms to give me their best time management hack. And now I get to share these tips and tricks with you, which I am very excited about. Hey moms, welcome to another episode of the Life Unboxed blog show, where we talk about all things momtrepreneur, from raising your kids to running a business, and the most important one, keeping your sanity. I am Jody the mom from lifeunboxed.blog, and if you're enjoying this content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, and if you're listening to the podcast, be sure to subscribe to the podcast, share the podcast with your friends, and leave a five-star review wherever you're listening. I truly appreciate your support. And if you would like to support the show, you can do that with coffee. Visit ko-fi.com forward slash life unboxed blog. And you can support the show with my favorite thing, and that is coffee. So your first time management hack for your business and homeschool is from me. So I want to share my favorite time-saving app. As a mompreneur and homeschooling mom, I'm always looking for ways to streamline my business processes and easily create activities for our homeschool and the co-op class I teach. So this tool revolutionized my business, my client's business, and my homeschool. It is one app, and that is Canva. Yes, I am a total raving fan and you can use it for your homeschool too. Need to create a unit study for your kids? Canva. Do you need to create letter tracing sheets for your preschooler? You can do it in Canva. Or social media assets for your business or client's business? Yes, Canva again. So let me tell you, I know how to use Photoshop. Am I going to design publication covers in Photoshop? Probably not, but I can use it enough to make decent looking um, social media assets. Canva is so much easier to use and it saves me so much time. Their pre-made templates make it easy to design posts for social media and they also help with inspiration. Sometimes our creative side needs a little inspiration and also the free images that you can pretty much use for anything. Of course, always double check the usage agreement. It has cut the design time down so much that I can whip out great looking designs in about half the time, or at least it feels like half the time. I haven't really calculated it, but I can unequivocally say that it has saved me time. So if you need to save time in your business or create great looking graphics, then Canva is a must have. And they do have a free account. So if you don't want to start um, paying for one, use my link below and sign up for the free account. Um, you will reach a point where um, you, you will probably want to purchase it a subscription because there's just so much more that they offer but you can do a lot with just the free one. So if you need to get started 
and you know you don't have a big budget for this start with the free one and I will leave the link below okay so our next time management hack is for a mom with a baby and a toddler yes I still remember those years I still have a toddler so Jasmine is a stay-at-home mom with a baby and a toddler. She talks about mom tips, mental health, and motivation at justjazz.com. Here is her time management hack when you're trying to get a baby and a toddler out the door with time to spare. One of the best ways I save time is having my clothes as well as my kids' clothes picked out the night before for the following day. I had noticed that we always seemed to be late trying to get somewhere, and what took up a lot of time was trying to figure out what we were wearing. I know the feeling. Whenever I started picking out what we would wear the night before, we were getting out the door much quicker and getting where we needed to be on time. And even with some time to spare, it was a game changer for our family. Our next time-saving tip is apps to use. So the first one is from Leanne. Now Leanne is living her dream of working from home while she writes for the news key. And that is the newskey.com. And I am going to leave links to all these websites. If you something sparks your interest and you want to hop on over and take a look, that would be awesome. So the news key is an online resource guide that provides work from home job leads. Here is her time management tip for balancing mom life and working from her laptop. The Notes app helps me remember the small things I need to do during the day or on the go. The app makes it easy to quickly add to any note I created. So our next app that we uh, that was given to us as a time-saving tip is from Raylia. Raylia is a mom of two girls. She started a local nonprofit to help other families with special needs children. She writes about personal finance at balancedfi.com. She writes from the unique perspective of raising a special needs child and the impact that it has on your personal finances. Here is her secret to time management for business, personal, and all those other random things that pop up every day. My secret to saving time is Trello. I have boards for business, personal, and random reminders. I love that I can search for specific things and carry checklists over, so I don't forget little details on things I do often. Having a process for publishing a blog post or podcast episode keeps my content consistent and my process efficient. I hear you, girl. Thanks for sharing that. I also save time by avoiding a search of all of my digital records when I need one specific thing. I just make a card in Trello with notes, links, and attachments, then search when I need that info. So these are great tips for apps when it comes to time-saving hacks. Okay, so our next time management, management hacks are for the kitchen. So I always love kitchen hacks because the less time I can spend in the kitchen is the best. I'm not a kitchen person. You know, my kids and their expectation to be fed every day drives me nuts sometimes and they know it. So this first hack from the kitchen comes from Hannah and you can find Hannah on Instagram at Theo and Roo, and that's R-E-U for Roo. And again, links will be all in the show notes. So here's Hannah's time-saving kitchen hack. When I have the stamina to do so, I chop up all the dry ingredients I like on my salads, lettuce, carrot, cucumber, olives, etc., and store them away in the fridge. I chop enough to make about three or four days worth of salads so the ingredients don't wilt. Then on the days I'm dragging with decision fatigue, yes, I have those days too, I have a robust, just addressing salad that leaves me feeling great. Robin is a millennial mom on a tight budget, and she shares her advice 
on personal finance, low income, and her experiences from an extended unemployment at a dime saved. Here is her kitchen hack that makes dinner faster and easier. Whenever I cook some essential items, rice, chicken, roasted vegetables, etc., I make enough for a few meals. I then use these as building blocks for lunch or supper. This saves me so much time. At night, I already have a few things done for supper, and it is so much easier and quicker to throw together a quick, healthy meal. That sounds great. (laughs) The less time I could spend on dinner, the better. Our next time-saving tip is all about meal planning. So for me personally, this is not my favorite thing to do, but I know it truly is a time management hack. And Christina from What Does Mama Say provides some great motivation to get back into it. I fully understand that panic feeling when it comes to figuring out what's for dinner. So here's what Christina had to say. When it comes to home life, one tip that saves me quite a bit of time and stress is food planning. I only started doing this for about a month, but what a difference it makes. Every Sunday, I take between half an hour to an hour, sit down, and plan every meal for the week, along with the ingredients needed for each one. After this, on Monday morning, I go shopping with the list in hand. This way, I stopped wasting time thinking about what to cook several times a day or panicking because I'm missing some ingredients. In terms of gadgets, I thank the person who invented the slow cooker every day. Me too, Christina. The slow cooker is a lifesaver. What a marvelous tool. You just throw the ingredients in, switch it on, and hours later, you have a perfectly cooked hot meal. And our final tip for time management is batching tasks. Anita writes about living a more fulfilling life at a slower and simpler pace. A few years ago, she decided to lead a less complicated life, so she recreated her life. She writes about her experiences as well as offering inspiration and hope at Simple Life 365. Here is her time-saving hack for all those things that need to get done on a regular basis. I save time at home and at work by batching similar tasks together. For example, I pay bills twice a month instead of when they come in. I check and reply to emails at set times during the day. I complete as much of any task as I can before I go on to the next task. Batching tasks allows me to use my time more efficiently because I spend less time going back and forth. Plus, I love seeing the results of my efforts more quickly. Moms, that is a wrap for this, these time-saving tips. And these are some really great tips that we got here. So what are you going to do to, to implement st- saving more time? Let us know in the comments below. I am definitely going to start meal planning again. That is what I'm going to do because it does save me so much time. Moms, I am so glad you joined me today. If you want to help spread the word, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can listen to the podcast at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember to check out the Life Unbox store for all of your mom boss merch. And you can support the show with coffee. Visit ko-fi.com forward slash lifeunbox.com life unboxed blog to buy this tired mama a cup of joe. See, I need it. For more great mompreneur content, follow Life Unbox on social media or check out lifeunbox.blog. Be sure to share the podcast and video with your friends and I will see you in the next show.